And yet another continuation of this storyline. April Sarah came back to Jenny Jen Jen's panel to finally tell the truth or will she? Let's find out. Buckle up again, it's gonna be a bumpy ride. And she was funny at the beginning. And I really How did you get used to her though? Like, where did, a like, friend of mine that I, that was, isn't on YouTube anymore and has passed away. Okay, there we go, there's a start. Okay. So had you known her previously or you met her somewhere else on YouTube? I'm not talking about the mod that Bombshell had, no. Okay, it was somebody but, totally different. Okay, perfect. She had came in, she had came into Bombshell's lives and she was real funny and I liked her. I thought she was a real, like she could tell funny jokes and funny stories and all of that. And then when I went from there and I got a hold of Jenny, I liked Jenny a lot and what she had done. And from the beginning, I became, I liked Jenny more than Bombshell because I didn't like the fact of what Bombshell was doing, the doxing and the, you know. And at what time was this? Like what period of time, if you had to guess, because I mean, I know you also had interactions with Yumi and a few other people as well, so. I'm yeah, it was around about that, it was around about that time, Paige, if that makes sense. Like 2022, 20, 21, 23. I, I don't. It's more of the 21 or the 22, to be honest. And then I became a mod for Jenny. And I got called out in a chat for being a mod for Jenny in bombshells by a lady by the name of Miss Moz. Oh, she's a, she's a mod for Jenny Jen Jen. No, I gave up. I didn't have a wrench at the time. And I was in Jenny's Discord for what? a brief amount of time. Was it 22, Mayna? So you went to bombshell and then you made friends with Uni and then we're in Jenny's. I'm like, I, I, I guess just, I'm confused. <laughs> okay, let me slow down a little bit. I okay. was friends. Uni and I tried to... Uni came up on the panel and what she said was correct. We tried, I ignored her because I felt like we were moving too fast and all of that. And it didn't work out between me and Uni and stuff like that. And I apologized to her on Jenny's panel for doing that. And that was around 2022, I think, Paige, if I'm not mistaken. So Jenny, Uni, and I started to, you know, it was just moving too fast and we stopped talking. Um, did you tell people that Uni was stalking you? Uh, no. Did that happen? No. I just felt like we were moving too fast, and I backed away from her. So was Uni before or after you found Bombshell? Like, right when I met, got to know Bombshell in that capacity of going into our lives is when I met Uni and whatever. I was in Bombshell's Discord at one point in time. So I know, okay, because I know personally, like, I got here, what, almost three years ago now? And so I know that Uni was not a part of Bombshell, correct, Jenny? Yeah, no, uh, not when... So they would have been, like... They had already... Yeah, they had already... Though. Yeah, they had already... Ooh, yeah, hated each other. Um... So, yeah. so run about the time that they started hating each other was about the time. I, I can't tell you exact dates. Yeah, that's they, fine. Just run about here. Yeah. And that kind of thing. And then I went over to Jenny's and I was in her Discord for a short amount of time. And then I was called out in Bombshell's chat for being a mod for you, Jenny. And that's and when I we said, thought you were thinking next. Right. Like, and, even us over here, we all thought that like, you were And I wasn't. And I, yeah. I didn't do any screenshotting no. or any no. of that or any but of that. Know, or any, Jenny, do you know about like the... I'm just trying to get a time frame here, I guess. Right, so like, do you know when that was? Because I remember that when I first got here, maybe? Yeah. Yeah, I like 2022. Yeah. That's what Manda says. And it was the same time for Manda and them as it was me, you know. Like, okay. it was both all our little community, you know. Right, and I was just fully getting in. Right. So, so I'm then just... the thank you next stuff happened. And that was cleared up and everything else. And then I went back to Bombshells. And then on my birthday stream, on her birthday stream, uh, she started talking about my dead parents and trying to dox me to high heaven. And when the first part of the this past year, this yeah, or sorry, year I'm, I'm, now, yeah, there were a lot of things. This in is just about the time where Kimmy, where Kimmy had just been out in my bombshell, correct? Kind of sorted because there's a part that I missed. So let me back up a minute. That's how I correlate the two. So there, that's like a two-year gap, I guess, a year and a half gap in between when you first got here and then bombshell, because that was right before I left her. So, and I do recall that you know I, I had said there had been a voice chat regarding what had gone on with you just before I left her. So, there's um. There's a lady by the name of Mass Angel, and I went over to that chat, and uh, there was, sorry. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. Take your time. And there was another person by the name of Miss Moz that was uh, her co-host, and we developed a friendship that went south very quickly with the both of them. Why is that? Was there specifics? Like, just because I'm not understanding, like, we're trying to correlate this whole situation as if, like, it's just, I mean, obviously we know there was lies told, but we're trying to make sense of it. So, you know, I apologize I know. if I'm asking too many questions. I, but. You're not asking too many questions. I'm just trying to put it all in order, I think. You know, and I may be yeah. wrong with dates, yeah. but I'm, I'm trying to do it. Uh, it ended badly with the both of them because they had said to me that they were, um, I had asked them a question at one point in time about an Easter, like Easter, like last year. Remember the documentation that I gave you, Jenny, in the first live? about what you put about Snozberry. Okay. They were all supposed to 
you know, spend as little or as lot time that they could with me at Easter time. Mm -hmm. And they bailed. And it wasn't that I was mad or hurt or angry. It was just, I said what I said. And I said, I hadn't really had an Easter with anybody that truly cared about me. And I put it out and I said, you know, I would like to spend some Easter time with you guys. But I do understand if you have family or children or this or that or whatever, you know, would you be able to? And they all said yes. And they all just didn't. And I got stood up for Easter. But did they give year. you reasoning on that? I mean, no, they did not. Because of my past, spoke again? Uh, they spoke poorly about me and spoke in chats about me because at that time I said, screw it. And I was done with YouTube page, if that made sense. Like, I just didn't want to be around people that were doing that. How do you say it? Fuck shit. Mm -hmm. Like they were just doing all that most stuff and all that ugliness. And I just, <laughs> but, in the same, sorry. but in the same capacity, I was doing it too. Right. Yes. And I know that. And I, two wrongs don't make a right. And I'm not right. And they're not right. And I'm not wrong. And they're not wrong. I'm just right. telling you my story. I get it. So you felt hurt, not, real, not understanding yourself that you were hurting them because you were telling completely, you know, different stories to everybody. Right. Real quick, let's, um, Jilly's got a question about this account because let's get hey. that part over with. <clears throat> Um, oh, hi, Julie. Hi, how are you, everyone? Have you had a great day? Okay, no problem. I do have one question. Okay, okay. well, actually, it's a few, but it's kind of all together. Okay. Um, Sarah, you claim that you weren't waffle fries, but I spoke to you and it's your voice. And not only are you not, you're not, you're claiming you're not waffle fries, you sent me a picture of you, and it so happens to be the same picture, the same person of the picture you sent to Snaz. And now, listen, so how did you get the, you, because you sent it to me, we called. No, 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 no. And you're claiming you're also not waffle fries, but then you're saying you had a friendship with Mizzy. And me and Mizzy had the same phone number for you, and you were waffle fries. <laughs> so you might have been waffle fries to me with somebody else and Mizzy, but it's the same number. And we got we have proof. I still have the messages and the emails and your picture. So I just feel like you know you're you're making these things out to be all. Can I can I? Mm -hmm. I'll finish my story. I will. Go ahead. Well, are you waffle fries? Can we just instead of can you just say yes or no? Sure. I'll claim it all. No, because not. people because no, people we need to know. No, no, no. We want you to claim it if it's you. Being okay. that aren't even. The true people. Well, that, but that's not what we're trying to do. No, that's not those people. And that's yeah, not this is doing it. But yeah, okay, this is yes, I'm, uh, yeah, sure. I'm off of us. No, like a legit yes or a legit no. Yeah, we're doing okay, yes. perfect. Okay. Yes. Okay. okay, thank you. That's all I wanted to know. And have a great night, everyone. Thank you. I think that's what a lot of people were wondering. Yeah, a lot of people are yeah. asking because before you didn't say it was you, and then people have got a phone number for it. You know what I mean? Like, right, so it's just better to yeah, it's just better. I'm gonna come clean with all of it. Yeah, that'll help. Honestly. Yeah. Well, good job. Good job. Because that no, takes a lot. No, no, you know? no. It doesn't. It's it's not a good job for me. Well, it is a good it's job just, just to admit something. I mean, honestly, it's just. But easier. that like docs, Jenny. How would like, that ain't right? That ain't did, right at all. Do we know how that was connected to that person? Do we have any clue? I don't know. No. I, no. Uh -uh. Because Jenny, when we talked earlier, and I said to you that I said something to you in the chat at the first live, and I said it to you, I meant it. You asked me to come clean, and I came clean. Yeah. I'm not married, and I don't yes. have children. And see, so she's doxing somebody that's, you know, innocent and not around. That's that's the thing we're trying and to... And then when Uber said it too, when she was doing that, and then she said Sarah and then April and whatever, isn't that the name of the lady that supposedly that all business came from, Paige? I'm, I'm going to ask what, you a question. That's what I heard, because I don't know, because I haven't fully been around. So I don't know 100% of everything that has gone on. I just know that somebody said they... I, I remember hearing that when they were looking somehow that April heard that you are. Now, I don't know the facts or anything. Like I said, I've, we've been trying to piece this together. So Paige, just being honest... And Jenny, yes. I swear to God, that ain't me. It's not. It's Right. So because when I put it in the back chat, like you asked me to, mm -hmm. and she asked me to, and looked into it, and then it was like, but so how is it, right? And I understand you let you know you're thinking you let Uber in and Jenny into your what you believe is or whatever is your life, whatever. But my problem with that is, is that you've got one follower on that account. That's it. And it's Jen Bailey. So and I don't even know who Jen Bailey is. Well, and I, I haven't used that account in forever. So is there one that you use that we can say, listen, she's not lying. This is not who she is. Yeah. Like, that's the problem we're that's having what, here because yeah, that's it feels like that's another lie. And that's what we've been trying to do here is, okay, if you can show us without, I mean, we're not going to show it to anybody else, but if you can, then we can confirm that, that an innocent person has been doxxed, you know, but I don't know any other way to do it, you know? Yeah, because otherwise it just looks like a made up account. Like I can make yeah. somebody with a name on it with nothing. Like, listen, I wouldn't let somebody in to my life like that. You know what I mean? But mm -hmm. when chances are what they are, I, there have to be one person I trust to say, yep, this is who she is, you know, especially when there's been so many lies. And this, you know, whatever. That's why, whatever yeah, and that's why people are having a hard time with it, you know, because, of course, they've, um, there's so many. Let's be honest here. We don't care if you're married, if you have kids, if yeah. you are this, if you're that. We don't I give don't. a shit. I don't. Okay, but I'm just saying, like, we don't care. But to be yeah. doing this for as long as you have, like, I'm trying to understand, like, does it give you excitement to pretend to be different people and not yourself? I don't get that part. Is it maybe like a game almost? Like, yeah. you know, that type like, of thing? I'm page, but I'm not page. I'm no out. Like, we all know that now, obviously. But you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Time to show you what I have. Okay. <clears throat> um, so. Well, you know, while you're doing that, you can just tell it the way you want to. So, so the stuff happened with Uni and uh, Bum's Discord, right? There was a lot of stuff that went on in Bum's Discord when it was a small one with you and... I can't remember who they named. Just a small crowd. A small group of people, yes. Yeah, a small group, yeah. So, when after all that happened, is that when you came over here? 
Yep. Okay. Let me go over here. There's only one person, one follower, and I haven't been on that account in forever. Okay, so okay. let's go back to the story portion of it. So you went with Bombshell, you were attacked two years later. In between that, I mean, I didn't. There were things, and then I stopped coming around. After I left Jenny and the whole birthday stream that Bombshell put out, I left. Completely left YouTube. And then that's when the Frisky name came up, because I didn't want any part of all of it, if that makes sense. So, all accounts that you've used? Like, names, name-wise? Right. So, I used Army Strong. I used uh, this name that I'm under now, which is my real name. I used uh, Frisky, Waffle Fries, and, uh, oh, Mystical Mystery, not Magnolia, Mystery. And then I used Puzzles and something else. And then the one that I'm under now, that me and Jenny, at the Discord thing, mobile. Right. Okay. So that name's quite many. Hang on one second, let's see. What's up, Sarah? Hi. Hi, hi. Yes. hi, Sarah. Um, I just wanted to add, and I can't find it right now, I'm looking, but um, either the night that Sarah was on Nux's live, or the next night, Bomb did a live. And that is when she showed the picture of Sarah, and said that her name was April, and that she was married with two children. And I don't right. remember if it was Facebook or Instagram that she found it, it on. It was Facebook and Instagram. Yeah. Yeah, oh, I did see that one. I'm yeah. sorry. I, I didn't know that you knew that it was Bomb that exposed it first. Oh, yeah, I did see that I'm sorry. Time. Okay. I'll drop down there. <laughs> I thought I had this big information that would help Yeah, me. she's You're definitely talking about... That's what we're talking about, Samantha. She's shown the wrong person. That's not... Okay. She's saying that's not who she is. That's part of the call. Yeah, I realized that now, and that's why I was... Okay. I didn't hear anybody say Bomb, though. So, I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. Thanks, Sarah. Have a good night. Okay. All right, so... Um... Starlight, what year was that? Was it 2022? That she was, um... Sarah Martinez? Oh my god, it's a big eye. <laughs> but so what what made you go to um oh, well maybe I should back up. How did this whole I guess maybe I missed it, whatever, maybe I'll go over it again, whatever, but how did the whole devious cousin thing I went about? to Devious and asked her if she would help me, and that was a mistake on my part that I should have never went to Devious to have her help me so that I could just stay in chats and you know just chat with people. So did you not think that you could just come in and be a no, different because, name and change oh. who you even are? I mean, how many people do that regularly? I know that they would have found me out. If that makes sense. Um, I mean, not necessarily. I think asking somebody to be your protection is a little. I weird. know, and I should have never asked them for protection. I should have just came clean and told them the truth from the very beginning. I mean, and I freaking was right. Our people. Can I ask a question really quick? I promise I'll be calm and I'll be nice. Uh, yeah, just yeah. So you just finally admitted after months and months that yes, you were indeed walking across, right? Right. Why did you continue to lie to me when I first asked you that and blame that on being innocent people of creating that account to pretend to be you? Because of the cyber stalking and the cyber bullying. Cyber stalking and the cyber bullying. I've always wanted a receipt, or it didn't happen, or a narrative that kept on spinning. I still want to find out why that is. But why did you, and I'm not going to out who you blamed it on, that's for you to do. Why did you blame it on those people who had nothing to do with it? Because I was hurt and angry. angry. Because I was hurt and angry. You need to apologize to them. That's true. I know, I... April, whoever. What is your name so when I speak to you now I can address you properly, please? Uh, Sarah. Not April. Okay. And well, no, I don't have, I'm not married and I don't have any kids. I, I don't care because you're not who I thought you were at all anyway, so that's irrelevant to me. But okay, thank you what, for that. What I would like for you to do, because you owe it to them, and you know who I'm speaking of, do the right thing and apologize to them for blaming that crap on them behind the scenes, because it wasn't just me you blamed that on. You blamed them for doing that. There's others out there that think that they created that account too, and they, they were targeting you, and that's not true. Okay, thank you very much, ladies. Have a good life. Thank you for letting me up. No worries. So, it was in 2022, okay? The Starlight stuff, the um, thank you mix. Okay, so we got that at least in the time frame. <laughs> so, the uni stuff and that Discord stuff was way before then, so it had to be in like, 2020 maybe 2021 2022 i mean so i have to say it, that four year time frame that was given is probably about correct yeah 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 probably so okay so um i don't know any other way to <clears throat> show but um other than i hate this man because i don't want to know people's private information either you know what right. i mean so i hate it dude because but at the like, same time, like if anybody can trust somebody you know what i mean to not yeah. act at least you know that they can trust you <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. See, and that's what sucks, though, that people, like, bum so ready, ready to put out anybody's information, you know? It's, and now, Sarah here is saying that's an innocent woman, you know, which is true. And it's so disgusting, man, regardless, you know, that your information shouldn't be put out there. Okay, raise your hands if you're confused. We are too, but then we get a glimmer of the truth when Ageless Beauty comes on panel. Let's listen. Versus oh, and us. there's a glimpse of hope. Ageless is here. <laughs> Thank you for coming, Ageless. Because we're missing, like, a whole piece. Yes, there is a bunch. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Clear. Here's the thing. Sarah, whatever, Army Strong, whatever your name is, you need to start coming clean because this is all not true what you're saying. You didn't start out with Bomb and someone who, before that, you were with someone who isn't dead. Okay? You need to start coming out with the truth. Do you know Sarah? Sarah was a woman that you were emailing. You went before her. You were in Katie's chat. Oh. 
Well, it goes back to Katie. Oh my yes, God. it goes way back then. She was in Katie's chat. Katie kicked her out. She went to this woman named Sarah. You started emailing her and you would do the same thing you're doing to other people. You would cling on to them. You were emailing them. And one day you slipped up and they seen you. You cammed up. They described this is the description that Sarah was told you look like. She said, um, she accidentally turned her camera on during the phone call. Back then they were, they were having like hangouts, but it was just boys. This is the best description they could give her was it looked like an older, like maybe 50 to 60s gentleman or a very butch looking female. Definitely not a 26 year old EMT. And her stories just got more and more details out there, bizarre and unbelievable. And when they finally confronted her, she said it was somebody else. When she turned the camera on, it was pointing on someone else. She kind of disappeared into the background after that. And they didn't hear from her or see her in chats until this lady named Sarah started seeing you in all the chats you would go into. And you started going, you were, you were uh, chatting with, um, there was someone else exactly who you were chatting with. Angie was one of them. You were going and following Angie everywhere. So this story, you don't know Angie. You do know Angie. Exactly. Because I'm telling the truth. It might, have, it might have been an accident too. I, that's you. I hope that's what it was. Yeah. I got all, we got all the proof. Yeah, it would be nice for her to just. She just needs to come out and tell yeah. the truth because yeah. all of this, I was very, I was very hurt whenever, and not even hurt. I was, I was shaking just like everyone else in the chat, yeah. like yeah. mad because yeah. I knew the story and this, this, she needs to come out with the truth. Nobody really knows who she is. She, she's not really Sarah. She's not, she's not any of these names that she's right. picking. Right, and She's right. using other people's stories. And that's why I'm saying, don't give her, do not give her, like I was saying it was legal. And then she told other people it was something else. Don't give yeah. her ideas. She doesn't, she doesn't need to be even around. She needs to get help. And I'm not trying to bully her. I'm not trying to do No, I know you're not. I just, I know you. Yeah, yeah, I don't think that at all. She needs, I'm just trying to get her to tell the truth. And what she did to Uni, Uni was just trying to see who she, I mean, who, who the heck, you know, doesn't want to know who they're talking to. See, freaking, that was my biggest thing because when she came on Jenny's earlier specifically, I did notice that before there was a hi or a anything, it was like silence. And then it was like, hello, hello, hello. And then it was like, poop. Then she came on. And everyone was asking why the name changes is because when she gets busted, that's when she starts with, a, with different names. She actually went into, she was a Sandra. That picture that, I, that you showed the first time with the name Sandra with the ghost, mm -hmm. that was her before. She's before, after she left uh, Katie, she went to this lady, Sarah, under Sandra. That was the name she used. She was also using um, None Your Business. She was using that account as well. She wow. was using multiple accounts. And then after they busted her out, or she accidentally cammed up and they seen who she was. And she had a receding hairline. 50, she looks 50 or 60. She looked like a man, they said, and with receding hairline. So that's why I'm trying to get everyone to listen and stop giving this woman the attention because she does not deserve that. She needs to get off YouTube and get some help. Major help. She's only manipulating people. She's lying. And she's hurting a lot of people. That's the sad but part. The only way, yes, but the only way for people to learn is this. This way, like yes. nobody's talking about it. I waited and waited right. for Jimmy, for somebody to do a story so I could show it to everybody. You know what I mean? Nobody's yes. done anything. So right. the only way is to pull it out of her, you know? Yeah. I know. That's okay. That's all right. I'm just saying I mean, it's not really much about. Much. But today yeah. I have to because two schools, is, two schools is wanting to talk to her still. Do not do it. Nothing that she's going to say. She's been lying since 2020. Since all oh, she's yeah, been yeah. people, you know, she's not going to, if she hasn't changed now, she's not going to change, you guys. So she's I'm going to message gonna her real quick and I'm going to ask her where she went. Just because I want that as proof too. That, you know, look, where'd you go? Like, wow. Yes, you know? I'm saying, we do have proof. We have a person actually saying how, and she tells us the whole story. She tells it from the beginning to when she met her, to how she met her, where she was before. And, she, and I also have a video that's public and where she speaks about all her, this is actually Sarah, Army, whoever it is, actually speaking about before she came on YouTube, what she was doing. See, and that's what I kept asking, like, how did you get here? You know? Yeah, it's all lies. That's why I, I could not. Different stories. She's told different, a lot of different lying stories, and she takes stories from people. Uh, traumatic stuff. She'll take it and use it as her own. And that's why when I seen that she was saying she couldn't have children, but um, what is her name that couldn't really have children? Told her that's where she got her story from. It was it was really surprising that she automatically all of a sudden couldn't have children either. And she does that to bond with people. That's how she bonds and makes you feel sorry for her. Do you think she uses a voice changer, Ageless? I'm not sure if she uses a voice changer or not, but the way she sounds right now is how she sounded whenever I spoke with her in Discord on a voice chat. Okay. That's all I know. I, like I said, who knows who, re who really knows who this woman is or if she's a, I don't know. I don't know who she is. She's using a bunch of things about her. No, nobody knows except for the people that actually seen her. And they don't even really, they seen her, but they don't really know her name. Right. They don't know who she is. Meanwhile, people are trying uh, on here trying to build meaningful bonds and she's manipulating them. You know, oh, yeah, absolutely. All based, on, all based on lies. It's all lies. The body she does is she's, she's manipulating people and getting their stories. And then she uses those stories for herself to make other people feel sorry for her. And then uses them on other people. Yes. See, I'm so glad that you came up because Jenny, I know we have been trying to like understand this whole mess, like all of it. And none of it has made any sense. And just the sheer fact that she dropped down at the specific time she did makes me uneasy. Nobody wants her information, let her speak. No. what this was. This was for her to prove that she's telling the truth or lying. Like, hello. The only way to get answers is go straight to the horse's mouth and ask. You know what I mean? Meanwhile, yeah. I, it's a whole different fucking person. That was not the correct person, clearly. And this poor lady who probably has nothing to do with YouTube now has been shown mm -hmm. to the world. Yeah, all these all these pictures that people are showing, they really don't know if that's her. So stop showing pictures because nobody really knows who she is, what she looks like, nothing. And Bones over there, dogs from some innocent lady. Yes, that was, you know. This is all wrong. Nobody cared who she was, just all no, of the people she uh -huh. hurt. All of the people she's gotten close with shared stories with that weren't hers, clearly. I mean, come on, like, I knew, I had a feeling the second that she came in and she claimed she was Devious's cousin, there was something off there. Like she, she knew way too much stuff to be a new person on YouTube as a cousin. Yeah, she's and been here. Someone, she's been here since Katie. So that if you know how far Katie's been here, I mean that's a long time. A long time. 
So I'm glad I got to come up. I've been wanting to say something and I have to because too many people are saying they want to give her a chance. Tell me the truth. She's not going to tell you the truth. Come on, people. You got to you got to just get away from her. She's going to manipulate you and you're just going to get hurt. And I don't want to see that for anybody. This I woman has I don't know what she has mentally wrong with her, but she's got something wrong with her. She needs professional help and get off YouTube because she's only hurting. It's just setting fires everywhere. Look at how many people she's already affected. I mean, I'm, I'm amazed. I'm like, this, I Julie, Julie, I, she has never talked to anybody outside of YouTube and she's been here a long time, long as I have probably. And she's never spoken to anybody outside of YouTube. And she spoke to her on the phone. She oh, obviously God. felt bad enough that she agreed to talk to her and she figured it out though. She figured out she was lying and you know, all that. How but, did she get into so many people? I mean, I saw her, like, I saw, not her necessarily, I know for clue who it was, but I saw the, like, trying to build relationships instantly. The second she claimed to be Devious' cousin, she was constantly, every chat she was in, she was all up on certain people. I could see like, oh, hey, like, somebody that hasn't been here is not gonna know that Tobo is known as Tobo. You know what I mean? Yeah, because she's been here for a while. That's how she knows people who they are. And that everyone's need, everyone needs to like just, oh my goodness, two skulls. Two skulls, and she's been talking to her since 20, Easter 2023. Oh my goodness. Two skulls, you You're too sweet, two skulls. Literally. Please, two skulls, don't, don't talk to her anymore. Please, you're just gonna get hurt. I say everybody should um, ice her out of your private messages, of your emails, your phone calls. None of that. She definitely, I've been saying that she definitely, there's something wrong because, like, you can tell by speaking with her, she's not quite all there. You know? not right, for sure. Yeah. Like, yeah, something's not connecting. And, like, that's why I told her before, she definitely needs to have some kind of a psych evaluation or some kind of help, you know? She yeah, does. I mean, and I wasn't just saying, I think she really needs help, professional help. I hope that she learns, I mean, I hope that she learned the lesson a long time ago when we were dealing with her then. And we, when, when we actually spoke about her, but I guess you've got to do all these and keep it up because yes, listen. Yep, you've got to do history lessons. Research it, yeah. Yep, you've got to do history lessons. When that Hopefully. person starts coming back around, you've got to put history back out and, and refresh the new people. Because a lot of new okay. people get tricked, you know? Yeah, and it's definitely helpful if you can just get on the search bar on YouTube and search that person. It would be very helpful to know who you're dealing with. But I'm hoping that Uni goes live and she can put out what she's got because this has got to stop. We've got to, you know, we've got to uh, make people safe here, keep people safe here on YouTube and not get hurt like this. And that's why I'm up here doing this. I don't want all these people being. I probably would two schools. You know, I don't want someone being hurt anymore by this person. And please, if you're even thinking of talking to her, try carefully. I wouldn't even talk to her anymore because all she's going to do is lie. She couldn't even be truthful today, you know? And so, yeah. anyway, I'm just, I'm just oh glad I came up and, and I could give insight to what I knew. Yeah, I am too. So, help see, people. what it sounds like then is absolutely that um, you you telling the history must have hit her because she's not answering. Um, yeah, because she knows I'm telling the truth and I don't even, this is just me speaking it, you know? Yeah, yeah. The woman that I even it, yeah. It, yeah. 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 So, the last time we added her, she deleted her Twitter. So, she had a Twitter account. She's definitely, um, and see, like, you know, the whole time she's been here, she's been tap, tap, tapping, whatever the hell she was, yeah, you know. Yeah, you could hear that, that video that I was telling you, you could hear her tapping that, and that's why I was saying that's her, because you could hear that in that video that I'm telling you, telling you about. Mm -hmm. so, she was definitely. Yeah. She's well, it's good to be here, Jenny. I always wanted to come up here. <laughs> I'm glad I just got to say my piece, because it was eating away at me in my heart, and, and I don't want these people to be um, taken advantage of and hurt, especially hurt. Hold up. Let me find this real quick. So this is the end of the Woman of Many Faces trilogy. Thank you for sticking it out with us. Remember, anyone can be anybody on YouTube. Keep yourself safe and your head on a swivel at all times.